What's going on, everybody? Spunky991 coming at you another video. Coming at you with my Eagle Saints preview. Um, we, Eagles coming to this game with a four and five record. Of course, we know losing to the Dallas Cowboys last week. The New Orleans Saints, of course, as we all know, uh, coming off a blow blowout victory against the the um, the Bengals, Cincinnati Bengals. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys right right now, man. I have not been less enthusiastic, less excited by the Eagles game in quite a long time. It's been a while. Right now, this Eagles team, as we all know, is just struggling this year. They don't look anything like they were looking like last year, man. They look like a complete shell of what they were last year. Offense can't get it together. Defense can't get it together. Um, last week, of course, was Golden Tate's first game back. Oh, excuse me, his his first game with the Eagles. Excuse me, his first his first game with the Eagles. Um, really, not a whole lot to say right now, man. I just it's, it, it, I'm not giving up. I'm like, like, like I'm here every week. Like I told you guys, I'll be here. I'm still gonna watch. I'm still gonna you no know, you no know, support these Eagles, man. But it's just but just being honest with you guys, man. It's just. It's hard to get very excited about this game right now. Eagles are barely putting up 20 points a game right now. The Saints are one of the highest scoring teams in the league, putting up you know 30 something plus points in, in multiple games this year. So it's and our defense can't stop a damn can't can't stop anybody. So it's really hard to get to really get excited about this game. You know, this is this is one of the games that you you look at. You say Drew Brees should have his should have a field day with our secondary, which is all banged up. You know we. Jalen Mills is out. Sidney Jones is banged up. Uh, we lost Ronald Darby for the rest of the year. So that will tell you, you no, know, that will make that will you know say, hey, all that all those players are missing, even though they weren't playing that great to begin with. Drew Brees should have a field day. That's pretty much what it, what it will say. The um the Saints are coming in here. You know they they signed Dez Bryant last week. He got hurt in practice. Now they signed you know they signed Brandon Marshall. This game, man, like I said, I'm not – like, I'm I'm hoping the Eagles, they go out there and um, they, they find a way to get the job done. That's my hope. I'll cross my fingers. I'm hoping that this could be a trap game for the Saints. I hope they come in, relax, and thinking they got this game all wrapped up. They're going to win it easily. It's, in their, it's at their home, not to mention, the, the, which is one of the hardest places to play, the Superdome. So, my hope – I'm hoping they come into this game just like – this this gonna be a cakewalk for us, and I hope the Eagles come to this game hungry and determined. That that's really what I'm hoping for. They come in hungry, determined. They are, you know, they're tired of losing. I'm tired of. We all tired of the damn losing. I hope. Don't say that the team is tired of, it, but we fans are tired of it. And I hope the damn players at some point get tired of it. Um, key to win this game is plain and simple, man. You gotta protect Carson Wentz. You have to protect Carson Wentz. You cannot let Carson Wentz, you know, take take the hits he's been taking. You no, know, he he's coming off an ACL injury from last year. You got to protect Carson Wentz. Um, we gotta give the we gotta give um um you no know, we gotta run the ball more. We gotta run the ball more. Gotta start running that ball a lot more than what what we have. You know, definitely need more touches for you know our running backs. Um, you know, the running game, of course, um, like 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 always, the running game. Respect makes it if, if you have a good running game, it takes pressure off your quarterback, it takes pressure off your quarterback, and it makes the defense have to respect you know, um, have to respect you, which means that they're gonna come up to try to stop the run, but instead, you can hit them with the play action. So, if we can get a, a decent running game going and we can beat them with the play action, then we then we then we have a good chance, you know. Um, God, Dallas Goddard, and um. Zach Ertz in the middle of the field, you know, that's throwing it the ball to the tight end in the um, play action, man. You know, that that definitely, you know, that, that definitely, you know, that, that, that sets up the play action, which should be a great day for us. Um, I'm not I'm not really afraid of the Saints defense at all, man. I think we are capable of putting points up against this defense. But we just, you know, but this, we, we, we would have against playing defense where we're capable of scoring high against. But it just depends on what Eagles team shows up. Are they tired of getting kicked in the damn mouth, and are they gonna show up and do something about it? I feel like we can score on this damn Saints defense. They're not that—they're not really that great of a defense, you know. Besides Lattimore, there's nobody. No Lattimore, that corner. There's nobody on this defense who I really think is, um, you know, who who I say we really gotta watch out for. To be honest with you, 
I think this is a defense that we could definitely score points on. It just depends on on, on where the Eagles are going to snap out of this damn funk they're in, this Super Bowl hangover, whatever the hell it is. It, it just all depends on whether or not they're going to they're gonna snap out of it. We'll find out on Sunday, of course. <sighs> um, but yeah, you gotta protect Carson Wentz. You gotta open up the you gotta open up the running game, plain and simple. Get the running game going. Open up the holes for the running backs. Um, that that will help with the play action. You know, the play action later on in the game. Um, we need to use Golden Tate a lot more. Golden Tate barely played his debut game with the Eagles um, last week. I think it was he he caught he had like what one catch, which was on a screen a, a screen thirty long pass, and for most of the game he was out he was on the bench. We gave up a third round pick for this guy, Doug. Put him on the damn field. You don't get you don't give up a third round pick for a player for him only to play, you know, for a few snaps and then you put him on the bench. Ease him into this offense and start using go to take like we like we we, tr we traded for. Um, yeah. Um, defensively, they got a very tough order, man. They got a very, you know, because they got a very difficult assignment because this Saints offense can beat you in so many ways. Not It used to be the days where Drew Brees was throwing, like, what, three, 400 on average a game just to give the Saints a chance to win, you know. But he doesn't have to do that anymore. He has he has very good running backs, you know, um, Kamara, Alvin Kamara, and um, 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 Mark Ingram. They have a running game. They can run the football down your damn throats. And we see with the Saints right now, we – you know, if you get that good running game for your quarterback, you no, know, that opens up so many things. And that running game with, for the Saints is deadly, and it opens up things. It takes a lot of pressure off of Drew Brees, which is very important. That a quarterback, you know, he's he's in his late thirties now at, at this stage stage of his career, having the running game, you know. But any quarterback, no matter how old they are, having that running game is crucial, and they have a good running game. So we let Ezekiel Elliott catch and run all over us last week. We cannot allow um, Camaro. Or Mark Ingram to take over this game because if they take over this game, we're screwed. I don't know how. I don't know any other way to put that. If, if Albert Kamara and Mark Ingram can take over this game like Zeke did last week against us, we're screwed. Plain and simple, we're screwed. So you gotta contain that running game. Um, force Drew Brees to throw the football. Uh, Drew Brees is one one of the best quarterbacks ever. You know he's gonna he's a first ballot Hall of Famer, Super Bowl champion. You know, he doesn't get fooled by much. He really doesn't. And when our secondary being as weak as it is right now, you know, it's the, the guy the guy can pick us apart very easily. You know, so plain and simple, we got to get pressure on him. You got to hit him. You got to hit him and try to force him to make mistakes. You, that's what you got to do. Last week, that Prescott was having, you know, he had open receivers who were overthrowing them last week um, in that Cowboys-Eagles game. Drew Brees is not going to do that. Drew Brees is not going to overthrow anybody. Drew Brees is very, very accurate with the football. Like I say, he's one of the best ever, and I respect the hell out of Drew Brees. He's one of the best ever. So, you know, he, the coverage has got to be better than our secondary, you know. Uh, who's, ever, who's ever starting, um, I'm sure Russell Doug is going to be starting. Even though he got burned pretty bad um, in that Cowboys game, I'm sure he's going to be starting. Um, I would imagine that guys like Craig Vaughn are going to get more playing time. I, I can see uh, Corey Graham get more, you know, Corey Graham playing some corner maybe. But whoever's playing corner out there, man, stick to your guy. Stick to your guy. Cover your guy. And, um, you know, cover your guy and make plays. Plain and simple. It's the next man up mentality. That's that's what we did last year. Next man has got to step up and make plays. Next, next man is that simple. Next man's got to step up. This is a tough order, but let's go out there and try to shock the world, man. You know, beating the Saints, man, would, would, would be a huge upset. You no, know, even though we are defending Super Bowl champions, we have not we have not looked like it. So it will be an upset. You know, we're back in that underdog mentality. So take advantage of it. The Eagles, whatever reason, they seem to be at their best when they are the underdogs. You no, know, when people doubt them, that was our mentality when we won the Super Bowl last year. So we had that underdog mentality big time in this game in New Orleans. You know, at the Super at the Superdome. So use it to your advantage. Everybody, step your damn game up. Show up to play. Plain and simple. Step your game up and show up ready to play. Score prediction, based on what I've seen with the Eagles this year, man, I got to go with the Saints. I got to go with the Saints. Plain and simple. I got the Saints beating our ass like 30, um, 38 to 38 to 17. And that's, and that's being generous, to be honest with you. I can see us losing my worst than that, just being honest with you. Well, what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing out of the Eagles right now, yeah, 
That's just being generous. I got the Eagles win. I'm mean, excuse me. I got the Saints winning 38 to 17. I hope I'm wrong. I'm hoping that we go out there and find a way, find a way to get the get the job done. Find a way to win. Shot the hell out of everybody. That, that's what I hope for. But but I but I gotta be realistic with you guys, man. I gotta be a realist. I gotta be realistic. This team right now has not looked good at all this year, and it just gets worse and worse each week. It seems, you know. So I, I gotta go with the Saints winning this one, you know, by a pretty comfortable margin. I hope I'm wrong, but we'll find out on Sunday. So this is a challenge to the entire team, man. Get your shit together. Show up ready to play. Go out there and shock it, shock the whole world and beat the damn Saints. Cover. Your man defense. Cover your man. Get the pressure on Drew Brees. Don't let Drew Brees get comfortable in that pocket. Stop the run. Don't let Alvin Kamara or Mark Ingram take over this damn game. Plain and simple. No, this this Saints offense is going to get their points. I, I I'm not naive to say or delusional to say they're not going to get their points. They're going they're going to score. But the question is, can we contain them? Can we not let? Can we contain their offense and not let them take over this game and just blow it out? Of, no, blow it. Just blow us out. Can we keep this game somewhat? Can we keep it competitive and our offense can make enough plays to help us get you no know, to um, win the game for us? That's the question. Can we contain the game? You no, know, contain this offense and um, score enough points to win it. Can we do that? That's the question. We haven't shown it. We haven't shown it all year. Can we show it in this game? We'll find out. Offensively, like I said, you got to give Carson Wentz time, you know, time behind that pocket. You got to protect him. The offensive lines got to protect. They got you, you guys got to protect Carson. Um, you got to open up some running lanes for the running game. You know, Corey Clement, Smallwood, you know, those guys got to open up the lanes for them, man. Got to open up the lanes for them. Um, and I, I can't forget Adams as well. You know, you got to open up that damn run. That, that you got to open up that running lane. Get that running game going, which will open up. You know uh, opportunities for the play action later on in the game. If we can do that, then maybe by a hair we have a chance. Maybe we do. But you guys gonna have to go out there and and, and, and prove it. You guys gotta, gonna have to go out there and show it. So it sucks picking against the Eagles every week, but right now they're not showing me anything, so I have to. 38-17 um, Saints. We'll see if I'm wrong. No, we'll see what happens on Sunday. But right now. My guts is saying that right now with the way we're playing right now. We're playing like hot crap right now. And um, before I get out of here, man, before I get out of here, Jim Swartz, stop with that damn pre prevent defense. What the hell is that? Stop playing these damn corners so far off their damn receivers. That prevent that prevent defense on is BS. Stop it. How these these corners in zone man coverage? What the hell are you doing, um, Doug? I'm um, excuse me. What what the hell are you doing, Jim Swartz? Playing, what are you doing? Special teams has got to show up. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with Darren Sproles. Um, 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 but you know whoever's playing special teams, you know maybe Golden Tate. You know um, whoever's who's ever doing returns, man. Got you know help set us up a good field position. You know we have a good have good field position could be very important for us in this game, especially in that loud ass stadium against a very very good football team. Field position is gonna be very important. Jake Elliott, you guys you gotta make those kicks, man. Gotta be accurate with those kicks, man. All these misses, you know, gotta be accurate with those kicks. But yeah, we'll see what happens on Sunday. Like I said, I got the Eagle, I got the uh, Eagles losing this game, thirty eight to seventeen. That's me being generous. We'll find out on Sunday. I, I'm, I, I hope, crossing my fingers, that I'm wrong on that one, but we'll see on Sunday. So, yeah, that's my Eagles Saints preview. Not very enthusiastic about this game. You know, Eagles not look good at all this year, man. Um, so, I'm just like, I, I sit back and watch the game and see what happens. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But, guys, um, I'll probably be doing a lot. I'll, I'll probably be doing a live stream um, either Saturday night or Sunday. I'll be in Canada. No, I'm, I'm, on my, I'm on my way to Canada, so I'll be up in Canada. I do a live stream from Canada. Um, it, it, it's going to be either Saturday or Sunday. I'll let you guys know. Possibly one on Monday. I don't know for sure just yet, but there will be a live stream very very soon. But yeah, that's my preview. Um, leave your comments in the comment section. Like, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Spunky991 is out. As always, fly, go fly. Let's go birds. Let's go shot the world and beat these damn saints. I'm out. Peace.